Hello, we continue with another topic in active filter but this time it is on second order high pass filter. Shown here is a circuit which is a second order high pass filter and you can see it is a second order since you have two pairs of RC in the circuit. Okay, and in this circuit also it is a non-inverting amplifier since the input is coming to the positive input of your op amp. So for this high pass filter circuit, at not X, okay, this is not X, which is uh, the V minus input to the negative terminal, okay, I use a Kirchhoff of current law to get the transfer function for this circuit. So at the not X over here, I call this IRA, the current through the RA, and then leaving the not is IRF. There is no current entering the op amp. So I arrive at this equation IRA is equals to IRF and for IRA since it is flowing from this node which is ground which is 0 to this node so I write it 0 minus V minus divided by RA and for IRF it is flowing from this node so it is V minus over here to this node which is VO. So V minus subtract with VO divide by the resistor over here which is RF. Simplify the equation. Okay. So cross multiply the denominator with numerator. Simplify it further. So we will get that the ratio of VO over this particular node which is VO over V minus will equal to 1 plus RF over RA which is the gain for the circuit. If you remember, this is for this circuit only, it is a non-inverting amplifier so that's why AVO is 1 plus RF over here over the resistor RA. Okay, so now we move on to the filter. For the filter, I have two nodes which is Y and Z over here. Okay, so at node uh, Y, we look into that, I have defined a current over here flowing from VI to this node. I call it IC1 through the this capacitor and through the R1 over here, the current flowing from VO to this node. Okay, and leaving the node, there is another current flow, flowing through the second capacitor C2. I call it IC2. So, Flowing in is IC1, IR1, flowing out from the node is IC2. So I can write at this particular node, this equation. IC1 plus IR1 equals to IC2 over here. Okay. And from this circuit also, we know that the non-inverting terminal over here, the voltage V minus will equal to the non-inverting terminals over here which is V plus. So I can write uh, this equation. This is for IC1. VI minus VY divided by the impedance of the capacitor 1 over J omega C1 plus this current flowing from VO minus with the VY. VO minus VY. It is flowing through R1. So divide by R1 will equal to the current leaving the node which is from Vy to the Vz or we can simply write V plus or V minus. Vy minus V minus divide by the impedance of this capacitor which is 1 over J omega C2. Okay. So simplify this equation. I just substitute J omega with S. It is easier uh, to work with S domain instead of the imaginary J omega. So you will get this equation. Uh, this is IC1 plus IR1 equals to IC2. So this is at node Y. Okay. Now we have another node over here. So the current over at this node is uh, just now I define current through the C2 flowing from uh, node Y to Z, IC2. And there is another current from this to the ground through R2 which is IR2. There is no current entering the op amp over here. So the equation at that particular node IC2 going in going out is IR2. So IC2 equals to IR2. And similarly V minus over here at the X node is equals to the voltage at the 
positive terminal V plus. So we can write for IC2 VY minus the node that V minus VY minus this node through this capacitor divided by 1 over J omega C2 equals to the current over here. So it is V minus or V plus subtract with 0 over here divided by R2. Okay, simplify the equation, substitute S for J omega and then you get this equation. Okay, IC2, this is IR2. So right now, you have three equations. The first at node X, you get the uh, gain for the amplifier. And for this one is at node Y just now and this is at node Z. So using these three equations, Simplify, you want to find actually VO over the input VI over here. So there is uh, several steps using this three equation and finally you should be able to get this equation. AV which is the ratio of VO over VI, I write it in S domain and to simplify it further, I use R1 to be equal to R2 which is, I call it as R, C1 equals to C2 and just C. So I get that the gain will be AVO. AVO just now is 1 plus RF over RA divided by 1 over SRC squared everything plus 3 minus AVO over SRC plus 1. So this is actually the transfer function for a high pass filter second order. Okay. And it is clearly state over here. It is S squared. Okay, so it is a second order. And from this transfer function, you should be able to get the cutoff frequency, which is 1 over 2 pi RC. It is similar to the first order high pass filter. Okay, uh, and this is when I get, uh, when I choose the R1, R2 to be equals to R, C1 equals to C2 equals to C. But if R1 and R2 or C1 and C2 is not equal, uh, the cutoff frequency will will be 1 over 2 pi square root of R1, C1, R2, C2. Okay, this is the frequency response. Uh, and the slope is 40 dB per decade or similar to 12 dB per octave. At a low frequency, you didn't get any gain. But as you increase the frequency, the gain will be increasing. So that's why the slope is positive, 40 dB per decade. And after the cutoff frequency over here, you'll get a steady gain or this is at the pass band the maximum which is uh, 0 dB so this is actually a normalized frequency response and at the cutoff will be a minus 3 dB okay and in order to design a second order high pass filter for example in this uh, I I want to design a high pass filter second order at a cutoff 200 Hertz so what you have to do draw the circuit second order so you have one pair another pair over here and using the frequency given the cutoff choose the this capacitor to be equal similarly for r okay use the cutoff frequency f equals to 1 over 2 pi rc okay so given f 200 you have two unknown r and c over here so i choose the value for c and I calculate for R. So uh, you can also choose the value for R and then calculate for C. It's up to you. Okay. So uh, with R, uh, sorry, with the C 2.2 micro, uh, I will calculate my R. This is the frequency just now. So using this equation, I find my R to be 361.7 ohm and I can choose the nearest which is 360 ohm resistor. Okay. So this is 360 ohm resistor over here and for the capacitor just now i use 2.2 microfarad okay in order to determine the ratio of rf over ra we use the batos polynomial table for n equals to 2 for second order and use this value 1.414 which is the damping factor okay that value will equal to 3 minus avo AVO is 1 plus RF over RA since this is a non-inverting amplifier. So from this, uh, the value of RF over RA will be 3 minus 1 which is 2 minus the damping factor is 0 0.586 or we can write 
um, RF is equal to 0 0.586 RA. So two unknown RF and RA, I choose RA to be 10 kilo ohm. So my RF will be 5.86 kilo ohm. So you can choose the nearest one, which is 5.6 kilo ohm. Okay. That's the value for your resistor. So a uh, second order high pass filter is also called a salad and key configuration. It is a voltage control voltage source whereby the output is controlled by the input signal over here. Uh, this is another way of drawing the second order high pass filter circuit. You have two pairs of RC, CA, RA, CB, RB over here. So this is RA over uh, RF over RA just now. In this uh, circuit, it is R1 over R2. So previously, I have shown you how to design that. So this, uh, the the one in the blue box is the resistor and capacitor that determine the cutoff frequency and the value of R1 over R2. Uh, so in order to design that, you can use the uh, Batuas polynomial. Okay, thank you.